Mini episode 37 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Outside the Box Score, your home on the web for entertaining sports columns and videos. Follow them on the web at outsidetheboxscore.blogspot.com. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Okay, breaking down the old college football here in mid-November. We're just coming in on the, uh, the, the last couple of weekends of the season. Rick Morris, Kyle Ross getting it done for you here in the FDH Lounge. Taking a look at the, uh, the, the scenery post the last two weekends here. The real big ones that we had going on, of course, LSU-Bama uh, on uh, November 5th, which, by the way, I just have to say, side note, and, and I always get into a philosophical discussion uh, with uh, one, one of our favorite uh, dignitaries, one of our original dignitaries, Nate Noy. Nate loves games like that one. I, I always tell him I, I, like, I don't like a sloppy shootout, but give me like a good 23-20 to 20 game. I like something, you know, in the middle like that. Nate loves these 13-9 to 9 and field position and it's a chess match and he loves that and after the game Nate said to me he said you know what I realized I am the one percent I am the one percent who likes football games like this because nobody else does because everybody was crapping on it so we had to wait for that to kind of shake out to see where we were going can oh, oh go ahead. can no, I no. jump in right yeah, now here ahead. Rick Morris by our second yeah. set of tapings by the way for the <laughs> evening I, yeah. I'd be remiss that we didn't put yeah. about that here by the way let's not give away that Rick Rude wins the NWA world title later in the year. Let's okay, not get okay, into that. There we go. We will not give away. <laughs> yes. All right. Here's the, with LSU Alabama. Was it a great game? No. But again, and to me, you know who? I, I found it interesting the backlash against the game. Mm-hmm. People, and, and I wonder if it was that casual college football fan. You know, they, that's what like, it was. The kind of wrestling fan who, who just tuned in for Saturday night's main <laughs> events, according to Gino Clint. You know what I'm saying? Because. Right. You have to manage your expectations. As someone who bet the under in the game, thank you very much, <laughs> I expected that game. You had two phenomenal – Alabama yeah. came in that game aver- averaging five points per game. Right. They, they were allowing – pardon me – allowing five points per game on defense right. at home this year. Right. What did you expect? And I knew going in, both teams' play at quarterback was below par. Right. What did I mean to me? Everyone's like, "This is I can't believe how low scoring." I was like, first of all, buddy, when was the last college football game you was?" Some of my friends were saying this. I'm like, first right. of all, buddy, you're a guy who watches football on Sunday, not Saturday, mm-hmm. so I don't want to hear your opinion. Yeah. Number two, what did you? I mean, did you not notice coming in? To me, I was not. Was it a, a was it a great football game for the ages? Do I want to watch it again? My answer to both of those questions is probably no. And I know we're going to get into the second one in yeah. a lot greater detail moving forward. But I wasn't surprised. Right. Like, I wasn't like – that's, I guess, why I wasn't mad or anything about it. I mean, granted, I was also at a local watering hole, which makes things better. And right. I also bet Arkansas to beat South Carolina, which was on the other <laughs> TV side by side, which went well. But, I mean, to me, manage your expectations, man. Right. Well, and, and it's, it's funny because a lot of people took it too literally about game of the year. Game of the year didn't mean most entertaining game of the year. Well, yeah, and it's not wrestling, you know, well, which that, are other things. It. It's, exactly. not like, it's not like it, it, it wasn't going to be the match of the year, well, you know. You know? And, and that's the irony. I mean, there, there's a fellow that you and I uh, know and, and used to do some stuff with who's fond of boat shoes and Hulk Hogan, and he was complaining on Facebook you know, about the work rate of the game. And I'm sitting there going, not, buddy, yeah, I not, used to broadcast with you. When did you start caring? about work rate yeah, it's not it, it, it's a football game it doesn't really matter if it's aesthetically pleasing it was a right. football game to decide who the best team in the country was where there was going to be a winner and a loser yeah it, it really didn't matter if the game was great or not i mean right. LSU, you know tip of the cap to the old mad hatter and our, our senior editor uh, jason jones he was complaining about it on facebook and that doesn't surprise the, the offensive me no, 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 i know all due respect i know to jason jones, i know that does not surprise well, me that he didn't like that game you know why J- Jason is a huge aesthetics guy. I mean, it, it has to be. I'm the big aesthetics guy. But to me, it was, I just don't know what you were expecting. But, did you ex- Like, what did they expect well, out it, of the game? He was looking at the negative of look at how bad the offenses are. And I said to him on Facebook, I remember I said, 
but you got to understand, this is like the 2015 Pro Bowl out there with these defenses. I mean, yes, what you have yes, out there, the caliber yes. of what you have, uh, they were playing against collegiate all-star teams on defense. Yes. that's. I and, mean, people don't understand how great. In, yeah. in defense, while it doesn't matter as much as the NFL, as we talk, you know, yeah. so many of the great teams we just talked about in our NFL recap yeah. have suspect defenses, your Packers, Patriots. Defense still matters at the college level. Oh, yeah. It still matters. And that's why the SEC, oh, by the way, has won five straight national championships. Yep. And, uh, and, and bucking for six. So that was the one game that we were going to get past before we could start looking at, at the stretch run. Here. Well, and then Oregon Stanford last week, by the yes. way, had Oregon last week all year. All year. I never got how people thought Stanford could stand up to them. I well, never got that. You know who I bet would be a big Stanford fan? Who? Your dad. Don't, 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 they, right. don't they remind you of a real antiquated Big Ten team, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, though. He ain't never been hit like that before. Okay, yeah. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hear that at the Penn State game when I'm with him on Saturday okay. when, they're, when, when Ohio State's playing. <laughs> okay, a game that I think Ohio State should win. They the will. Way. So pass they that will. along to him that we're, I think Ohio State's going to win. We're going to leave happy on Saturday, okay, no question. Yeah. Well. I'll leave that one alone. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, but, we're not going in any yeah, showers. Okay. okay yeah. Yeah. But, um, no, we, we, I had Oregon rated a little higher than Stanford all year. Stanford, to me, that had only played really one challenging game, and they needed triple overtime right. to beat a good a USC team right. that's good and could very well catch Oregon in a good look ahead in, in a letdown spot this week. But, you know, that, that was the other big game. I am not, again, managing expectations when we mm-hmm. kind of planned this a couple weeks ago that we'd be doing the show, the college football um, talk on this day. Mm-hmm. I told you, I think, that there would be four undefeated teams mm-hmm. in the country yeah. at that time. LSU, it was the LSU-Alabama winner. I, yeah. I wasn't sure who was going to win. I, I went with the under in that game. I was not sure who was going to win. I knew Stanford would fall. Okay, yeah. Oak State, I thought, would still be unbeaten. Houston who mm-hmm. you no know, one really talks about. They're kind of a real hipster team, aren't they? They are. And I, yeah. and I thought Boise State would also be unbeaten. That was a, I, I can't believe oh, they lost. But, yeah. you know, I can't believe they lost. Again, a kick literally cost them millions. But So we're, we're down to three unbeatens right now. Yep. And the big question is the way it's set up. The BCS will work. By the way, I'm, I'm not a BCS hater, by the way. I don't like people who hate the BCS. See, I embrace diversity. Right. I love how college football and college basketball are so different. Right. I, I, I have no problem. The regular and, season matters. Yeah. I, I, just, I want a plus LSU, one. Ala, LSU-Alabama. Well, that undermines my argument. If, if we get an LSU-Alabama rematch, so much for what I've been saying the last 20 years about the sanctity of the regular season. So much for that, Kyle. Yeah. I'm going to be very undermined if that happens. Well, true, but here's the thing. The BCS will win again if simply LSU and Oklahoma State win yes. out. Do you think they will? See... I'm starting to believe. I'm starting to believe because Oklahoma State has been such a juggernaut, but every time they play Oklahoma, I mean, that's their bugaboo. They just choke against I believe, Oklahoma. I believe, it, as I consult my little book here, Okay, I'm gonna as we. I'm just going to babble incoherently until I get to the page. All right. Shame on me for not being ready. <laughs> I believe, Rick Morris, it is the most lopsided in-state series in college football. I think it is. You're on the right uh, page, I'm almost by the way. positive it is, yes. Um, you know, they have lost eight straight, I know, Oklahoma State. Yeah. Oklahoma. But this has got to be their year, and I'm going to tell you why. Okay. No broils for Oklahoma. Okay. Uh, Bob Stoops that is helps. An, Bob Stoops is an idiot. And also, <laughs> no, but um, I'm almost positive, by the way, that's true. I, I can't find the exact number, but I am positive it is the most lopsided, in, obviously in favor of OU. But here's the mm-hmm. thing. A scheduling quirk has Oklahoma State being at home for a second straight year. it's very. Last year's game was in Stillwater, and we're back to Stillwater again this year. And with no broils, Oklahoma's road woes, mm-hmm. stoops, I don't know, the blooms off that rose. I'm telling you, I think it's Oklahoma State's year. What's interesting and what no one's talking about, because the other championship, Oklahoma, by the way, even if they were to win that game, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. They should not play for now. I don't care. Oklahoma, oh, no. Oh, Oklahoma no. They should, won't. They you won't. cannot lose outright as a 29-point fa- home favorite to a Texas Tech team. That has been outscored the last three weeks by 110 points. There's no way Oklahoma would. There's no way. Okay, so there's four contenders, and I think we, you and I agree, yes. right? Those two unbeatens, and then the two teams that have already both lost to LSU. Yeah. Alabama mm-hmm. lost in overtime by a field goal on their yep. home field. And an Oregon team, which lost by 13 on a neutral field. Quasi-home. It was, yeah, that, that's a point. That, that's, that, that's certainly 
certainly relevant. Well, you quasi or road, quasi road, quasi, quasi road, road, yeah. In the season opener, what no one's saying about those four teams is the team most likely to lose. Yeah, down the, is LSU well, because they've got to play Arkansas, Woo Pig Suey with Bobby Petrino yeah. in the in the finale, and then Georgia. People laughed at me when Mark. Everyone wanted Mark Richt out of there when that team was zero and two. I said, look at the schedule. They will win their final ten games and yeah. they will go to the SEC championship. How how people could throw out first zero and two since I think it was nineteen seventy six. It was Boise and maybe the best South Carolina team in a couple of decades. Yeah, I, I don't. You have to look at the context. Yes. If they'd open with some directional school dingbat like LSU always does. Then I could see the outrage at yeah. them being all. But you know, though, it's ridiculous. I predicted they would start out. I pre- yeah. The, Georgia's season has gone exactly to s- the script I had written out. Okay. For. I believe. Now I did not think before the year they would make. I still because South Carolina has a loss to Auburn. Yeah. That I that shocked me quite right. frankly. That, that shocked me. I thought and, South Carolina would come Columbia, out of there. Yeah. I, I thought South Carolina's first loss of the year would come in a game they did lose to mm-hmm. Arkansas the right. night LSU beat Alabama. But with the loss of Lattimore, Garcia hit the brick. You know, his, his career's done. Mm-hmm. George is going to win that, and they'll play LSU. I, I believe it or not, I know that it. You know, there's always that crazy thing thrown in, like the final couple weeks mm-hmm. where we're thrown into a tizzy. I think it's going to be LSU, Oklahoma State. Now, okay, I'm going to tell you something right now. One thing that I think is a tired storyline. You know, we talk about storylines of the NFL. Yeah. How you're kind of, is how would this great offense do against an SEC defense? Haven't we, you know, the NFL, at least they come up with fresh storylines. Haven't we seen that before? And let me tell you what's happened. The SEC defense always wins out. Oregon's high-powered offense scores 19 points last year. Yeah. Colt McCoy in Texas, L. Uh, you know, Sam Bradford in Oklahoma, L. Well, last year wasn't pure offense versus defense. I mean, no, well, Auburn's defense we, was shot. We, we thought it was going to be 45-42. Yeah. The, the, the shock of that game was the type of game that it was. Agreed. Because it was supposed to be just, you know, balls to the wall But we for see, with that minutes. long layoff, it always seems the championship yeah, game does. has always been. Because remember, they thought the same thing about Florida-Oklahoma three right. years ago. Was, once again, is dealing in the betting community. I remember that total was in the 60s? Right. Maybe in the 70s? Right. When it was Tebow versus Bradford? Right. And that game was, you know, similar score as last year's championship with the Oregon-Auburn. So... I don't know. Do you think? Well, what predict, predict me a national championship game right now? Uh, oh. Ultimately, L- yeah, I, I, I think it's more likely than not Oklahoma State probably wins that game. I mean, I'm coming around to that point. And of remember, view. they get a huge break with no conference. Cha- now, granted, they they play always in the stronger division right. when the Big Twelve was in two divisions. Right. The South was always better right. than the North, but still, that's a huge break not having to play that extra game. Because, that, that I mean, it's, al- it's always a tricky spot. I mean, it's another game you can lose. Yeah, it is. Uh, but as far as it goes, uh, do we have any sense of what would happen if it was Alabama and Oregon if it came down to those two on, on, on the BCS? Well, I mean, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. If Oklahoma State loses to Oklahoma, are they officially not going to play? Yeah, I think we take them out of the game. You would? You, you're saying that? Because I don't know if that's a- official necessarily. Well, it's always a thing of, Losses in November yeah, and December yeah, count for more. That's that okay, unofficial right, well, well, waiting. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. If Oklahoma State's the only – forget about Houston. By okay. the way, Houston, by the way, people don't know this. Houston can play their way into it now. They're going to be in a BCS game if they if they win out. I they will. There's, there's they will, no but, they're, but here's the thing. They're not going to win out, just so you okay. know. Just so you know. Well, I'm telling you, here, here's a little hipster, a little hipster okay. sidebar for you. They will lose – not this week. They'll be 11-0. They will lose the regular season finale to the most underrated team in the country, the Tulsa Golden Hurricane. Okay. Get, that, that's a whole, Tulsa, do you know who their three losses are to this year, Tulsa? Two. Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Boise State. Yeah. They have annihilated. They, they, you talk about scheduling tough. Mm-hmm. This is, uh, Tom Izzo, he would be proud of this. Team. They have annihilated the Conference USA competition. Yeah. Tulsa's going to beat Houston. Okay, so I don't think Houston will go to a BCS Bowl. But... The twenty thousand dollar question is: Oklahoma, or pardon me, Alabama or Oregon, with yeah. the two teams that have both lost to LSU. Yeah. Who do you think if Oklahoma State loses? Here, here's one. Here's yeah. scenario one. Let's bring it back. Okay. Scenario one: LSU wins out. Okay. Oklahoma State loses to Oklahoma. All right. Who would get in then? Oregon or Alabama? Who would you vote for? 
Well, just put your just I, do that. Don't I would say vote the, for Oregon. I think they would give them a better game, even though they look like dog crap uh, at the beginning of the season because they're not the same team they were then. They've really improved. Uh, Alabama, I, I just I can't get past that. I mean, Alabama, it's a thing where you had your chance. But so you did ha- Oregon, didn't uh, they? I, not to be that guy, but that was in September. So you're gonna <laughs> yeah, not to be that guy. I, I'll, I'll tell you what. Just because I know it would upset you, I'd vote for Alabama. Well, here's the thing, too. <laughs> I'd vote for Alabama. Because Oregon will, in all likelihood, be the Pac-12 champion. Uh, they, yes, they will. I project Alabama or- can't, be, can't make it as a conference champion. Again, barring the LSU. That's true. Or, that's true. They always say, yeah, if you don't. They won't even win their division. Well, now, hold, well yeah, that's true. If LSU that's goes why on I the, can't yeah, vote that's, for them. That's true. I, I can't. I just, that's true. That's but, why I, I hope it's just LSU and Oklahoma State. By, that by the way, and, 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 and FDH ended up getting screwed out of some nice uh, publicity here because I'll tell you what, we had a world exclusive. Uh, our Nate Noy cracked something here. We had it up on the blog about a week or so ago. He had proof. Uh, he went through this, and this was something the media hadn't covered. If Boise had run the table, there was no way of getting past Alabama the fix was already in. You would have needed like 15 rogue Harris poll voter po, uh, Harris poll voters to drop Alabama I did, altogether. I did forward to be that. I love that was very interesting. That was amazing. Yeah. I and mean, what's sad is that this is a year that had this situation unfolded where Oklahoma State loses mm-hmm. and the only unbeaten is LSU. Mm-hmm. And if Boise State had stayed out, I mean it's a moot point now. But boy, this would have been a year where they totally des- would have deserved to get in. Oh, absolutely. No, I mean, it it would have been. I-, I thought they were going to run. Yeah, I don't even want to get into Boise S- State. Side, but- well, side note that probably won't be a side note, but I I prefer a plus one. I'm not a critic of the system per se. I would rather have a plus one. That's my thing. I don't know how you feel about it. I'm not opposed I, to it. I mean, to me. Four teams. They already have the infrastructure. You put one that that put the you BCS put, has. You make the Cotton the- Bowl a BCS game, and boom, you have as many teams in the BCS. Problem solved. The thing is, the what's it? It usually works out. I mean, it's usually a moot point. All this complaining about the BCS. Yeah. It, you typically, there's only been a couple of years where it has not worked. If out. LSU and Okie State run the table, and, then and it'll it's fine. It, it's work but out. Here's the thing. What about this scenario that no one talks about? I talk about the team most likely to lose in the top four is mm-hmm. probably LSU because they have two tough games remaining. You really think Georgia could be a, a landmine? It's a tough game. I mean, they're a top twelve team. In my okay, book, okay. I mean, I mean, it's tougher than you know. I mean, it's tougher than uh, you know some of the teams Oregon's going to play down this year. I mean, true. after they beat USC, if they beat USC, so, I mean, the Pac-12 South champ's going to be terrible. But listen, or um, here's the thing: let's say LSU loses, okay, and Oklahoma State is the only unbeaten team. Do you say? Do you then say, all right, whoever wins the SEC gets the spot, assuming it's not Georgia? Because remember, if LSU loses to Arkansas, yeah. then it is craziness ensues then it's the repeat of that big 12 tiebreaker situation yeah. where you're gonna have three one loss teams and it's gonna all depend on how i can't imagine else you would get annihilated arkansas got killed by alabama when they played right. 38 14 if lsu were to lose mm-hmm. and oklahoma state's the only undefeated which route do you go is it the sec champ i think i think you have to give it the sec yeah not non-georgia sec champ yeah, yeah. it's a one loss sec i mean the sec should have like a permanent spot in there so unless you, it's i a agree two, yeah. you, i agree so you know we got that covered yeah I, I, ultimately i think i'm going to say lsu oklahoma state and, and yeah I, I don't think again i don't think that the overwhelming offense can penetrate a defense like what LSU's got. So I would say LSU over Okie State, probably something along the lines of like uh, yeah, 19 the thing to is 10 though, or the something. The thing is, though, here's the difference, though, I will mm-hmm. say, going against the SEC and what I said earlier. Mm-hmm. LSU's offense is bad, like we talked at the right. top. It is significantly worse than the other SEC offenses we've seen in previous years where it wasn't a question that they could keep up with the opponent. We knew Tebow and company could keep up with Bradford and Oklahoma. Right. We knew uh, you know, Alabama two years ago could keep up with Texas. We knew last year Auburn with Cam Newton could keep up with Oregon. LSU's offense cannot keep up with Oklahoma State's offense. And that does – it's interesting because that sets the stage for the massive upset because – if they fall behind early, then I, I they're think not they're, built to come back. No, they're not. I mean, their their quarterback situation is very yeah. bad. I think it's going to be LSU, Oklahoma State in the championship. How do you run out the rest of the? It's in, now with Boise State out. I'm with, they're they're not going to make a BCS. They're not going to make a BCS. And I don't. Houston will get that spot. 
Or, well, I don't think they're going to. Here's okay, the, Houston, okay, yeah, you're right. He, I don't think they're. I think they're going to lose it. They won't even make their conference championship. Right. Tulsa is going to be undefeated. And Tulsa, Houston, that game's going to be for the, that Conference USA West. Right. I know not a lot of people are paying attention to the Conference USA West That's true. right now. That's true. But even if they got by Tulsa, they still have to play a good Southern Miss. You talk about let's keep the hipster ball rolling here. That's true. Southern, you talk about everyone talking about Oklahoma losing to Texas Tech is the most shocking result this year. Right. Let me raise you. Southern Miss losing to Marshall back in September. Wow. I was shocked by that result when it happened. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you, at the end of the year, when that might be Southern Miss's only loss, it right. cost them a BCS bowl game. Wow. That might have been the most shocking result. So there, this year, the, way, the reason I brought all that up, mm-hmm. there will be no non-AQ team in a BCS Bowl this year. I think you're right about that. Well, in looking at it, and, and, and we don't know off the top of our heads here, and it's a complicated thing, who gets to draft replacements or whatever. Uh, so it's a thing where we don't know who would be uh, replacing. I think I actually know the order. I think, well, here's the thing. We'll do, we can do the Rose Bowl real quick. Cause it's right. be, it's, the Rose Bowl is going to be Pac-12 versus Big Ten. As I said before the year, it would be Wisconsin and Michigan State. Remember that? And you told me, you well, did. that, you that did. sounds terrible. Yeah. And I said, I, well, I, I para- fine. That sounds terrible. But I it- paraphrase Tony Schiavone on Mick Foley's world title win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it'll be Wisconsin, Michigan State in the Big Ten Championship. Wisconsin yep. will get their revenge. Yeah. They will win. They will play Oregon I agree. in the Rose Bowl. Yes. Okay, so that's one game I'll take care of. Yes. Alabama gets clearly gets the Sugar Bowl. Not. Yeah, they're with, going cause, to cause yeah because the the, the SEC is tied into the Sugar Bowl. Yes. with LSU in the championship game, they pick an S. That'll be Alabama. Yeah, yeah Alabama. Um, the what do I think? The ACC champ, which will either be Clemson or Virginia. Another rematch, by the way. It's gonna be yeah. Clemson and Virginia Tech. It looks like right. Uh, that winner will go to the Orange Bowl. Right, and then the Big Twelve has a tie into the Fiesta. And that would probably be Oklahoma. So, so they, those are your top draft picks. All Oklahoma. Right. So, so Oklahoma would replace Oklahoma State then. Yes, Oklahoma okay. goes to the Fiesta. Alabama Sugar okay. and pick Clemson or Virginia Tech goes to the Orange. Okay. okay. And then uh, then you get the draft. Stanford. Stanford is going to a BCS bowl game. They are. Luck. I think the Sugar picks first. If I'm not correct. If I'm not mistaken. I think so. Highest ranked team, yeah. That, that, that so that would lost. be Alabama. So you could Alabama Stanford would be a decent game. Okay. Um, who else gets in? Well, uh, whoever they, wins the crappy Big East, it could be Cincinnati. Right? Listen to this though. Right. True, you're right. The Big East does get, and, they, and they're last. They Orange were, Bowl. Yeah. They'll, they'll yeah. Be, but here's, have you heard about this? Well, yeah, I didn't know this, and I think this is a great rule. If no Big East team finishes ranked in the top 25 of the BCS, mm-hmm. they do not have to be picked. Nah, one of them will sneak in. That's not a high bar, Kyle. True, and and what's what really stinks is that because I think Houston's going to lose. Yeah, that they're not going to lose that spot. So you're right. Somebody's getting so okay. That's one. Who is the other team? I, I was racking my brain because of the loss of Boise State, which I widely assumed to be a BCS bowl team before last week. Who gets now, the? Le- it, it can't be a second team from the Big Ten, the ACC, the Big East. Uh, we've already got two from the Pac-10 and or 12. You can only here's the the SEC if because they're the only conference where this can happen. Yeah. If it's LSU and Alabama in the championship yeah. game, they are allowed a third. Just so all you're right, aware. All right. It's just so just just I'm going through this. It's going to have to be another team from the Big Ten or I don't think the it ACC. Should be, but the it Big should Ten. be. It's going to have about, to be or or, 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 or non AQ. What about this? Let me bring this don't team e- up. Don't even say the Domers. Don't even. If they beat Stanford. In the finale, oh, oh. If, that w- right? That, if they beat Stanford, that's awful. A three, what? a three-loss team making it just because of who they are. Well, I mean, they put they put asses in the seats, Tony, Mister Shivani. That's not the kind of meritocracy that Rick Perry is trying to bring to America. <laughs> oh, for God's you. sake, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Rick Perry will find out what a meritocracy America is when he is not the president in 2012. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh very much. man, I, I, that's I, the thing with Boise State. I've been racking my brain. Spot, yeah. Who is going to be? I mean, maybe is it, it will be Boise. Maybe it still could. I mean, would by they, default. Over to, does TCU get it? I don't know. Maybe Houston does win out. I like Tulsa, though. I think Tulsa beats Houston. Mark that down. If, uh, wow. All if, right. that, if I lose that, by the you way, know I'm what? Say, I'm, please I'm erase gonna, this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go out on the limb and say Boise gets it just by default. If Notre Dame beats Stanford in the regular season finale, they will get it. Then does Stanford still make uh, as a second yeah, Andrew Again, t- t- again yeah, not Mar- Andrew Luck. Sell yeah. tickets. Okay. Let's slobber over them for April. All right. Yeah. So are oh, we- now, what's interesting, that game – 
I thought that game when Boise did did set up as a potential again, you mm-hmm. know, as a kind of playoff kind of atmosphere. And isn't that is that game in Stanford or is it in South Bend? I can't remember. Uh, that game is at uh, South Bend. I'm pretty sure. Is it now? But uh, I guess uh, we'll find out here. Uh, Uno Momento, as you're flipping. Yes, to it. as I find here. Yes, it is. No, it is not. It is in oh, Palo Alto. A, Palo Alto. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Well, that uh, all, all I can say is you know uh, for uh, for Andrew Luck. You know, the, the, the path to NFL stardom, to can't miss stardom, is to go to the Sugar Bowl, have a great game there, be the number one draft pick, and the next thing you know, he'll be suck, uh, sucking on scissor at the pro level as a can't miss number one overall pick. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the trajectory, yeah. Kyle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I, it is so, I, I thought about that when I, that was a big question I had for you. That was my big question. Who is going to oh. be the 10th BCS Bowl team? Is it is it the Clemson Virginia Tech? Loser, it's going to be maybe? horrible. It could be. God, it could be. It a could. second ACC team. Here's the thing. That's a sign of the apocalypse. Here's the thing, though. It couldn't oh. be. It, it couldn't be Virginia Tech, isn't it? Large. If they will, if they lose twice to yeah. Clemson, no way. They got, I mean, you talk about a, you. Talk, it's interesting. Everyone's killing Alabama. Okay, uh-huh. lost at home to the rival. Can they get a rematch? Right. Virginia Tech lost in Blacksburg, twenty three three. Yeah. Now, they, now they're a team that's gotten much. You talk about team all oh, different right. September to November. They're much right. better now. Logan Thomas is coming into his own, but they couldn't get a BCS bowl game with two losses to the champion. Could they? Although here's the thing: the ACC has really lousy tie-ins. They do. They have re- like the Big Ten. The Big Ten, I am convinced, will not get a second team. And the Hokies travel well, don't they? That's going to be – look, it's going to be – you're going to be so mad. It's going to be the, – the last team that gets in, it's going to be so based on that yep. kind of stuff. Yep. That's why I think if Notre Dame beats Stanford, they're getting in. Wh- Whose who's alumni are, are, are most uh, disproportionately in the top 1%? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's going to be that. Well. All right. Well, looking at this and, – And it could be the Fiesta Bowl with, uh-huh. with their corruption that's going to decide this too, by the way. <laughs> Wouldn't that be outstanding? All right, are we both in agreement? LSU, uh, Okie State in the championship game. LSU yes, winning. I'm not convinced. Uh, I okay. don't know. I'm not convinced that they're going to win. Oh, I'll be back right. to you. All right. Yeah, I kind of can talk myself into it. That with the fact that they fall behind, they're in trouble. Okay. I don't, well, by by the next time we do this, then uh, the matchups will be in place, and we'll be able to preview uh, bowl games specifically. All right. So look uh, forward to it, Ricky. Stay tuned for that in mid December.